Welcome to plant land. Home of the plant. I wonder if they actually will, like, uh, harvest more vines. Oh, they really liked that, by the way. Doink. Oh, that looks... The Gorgas board. That looks disgusting. Let's go make more. Let's see. So what do we do? Right. I got to make I have to make the meaty marshy mountain. I wish I could make like just a really basic table. I guess we could just put it on a block. Oh boy, that looks ugh. Oh, it's huge too. Damn, it's big. Well, there's a gory grill house. I should probably help defend this place. Yeah, I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna need to make a roof for this. The NPCs might straight up, like, that might be part of the final bits of the blueprint. I could be wrong. Otherwise, I could just go up to the top. Wait, that's the wrong person. I'm so used to fighting monsters, it's bad. Wait, the Gorgas board's probably the best food in the game? That's hilarious and disgusting. I'm gonna drink some of my weird mushroom beer. It's supposed to be mead, but boy, this does not taste how I expected it would be. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Ah, everything tastes like mushrooms. The air I breathe tastes like mushrooms. That's a weird feeling. Spell it exactly the desired effect. With a larger crew, we may yet complete the arc before Doomsday heralds our ruin. Time is of the essence, dude. The master of destruction grows more powerful with every passing moment. This is no surprise. Creation and destruction are opposing forces. When the creative force strengthens, so too does its destructive counterpart to even the balance. A most... Oh, are we... I didn't realize these two priests are both talking. Most us astute abs observation. Argon is wiser than all of us combined. Dude, it appears you are lured here for the, from the real world for a very specific reason. If what you are implying is true, this is troubling indeed. We must convene with Adam. Adam. Hey, you guys, no slacking. I know you're the children, stop wrath and everything, but we're sort of handed enough as it is. Stop watching time and start building. That includes you too, dude. You can twiddle your thumbs up on the blueprint once the blueprint's finished. Back to work. Wow. I'm very impressed with the Gory Grill House you made for us. Thanks. You just leave the cooking to us monsters. Once we've made something, we'll stick it in the swords bay and you can help yourself. I, I like you, dude. But I think... I still think you're a very strange customer. You waltz in the unholy homeland of the children of Hargon, the enemy of all monsters. Make yourself the center of attention by building stuff. And to top it all off, you say the master of destruction is your best buddy. <laughs> Don't worry about Malroth, dude. I'm certain that you'll see your friend again soon enough. That creepy conservatory is exactly what I was after. When I'm stressed out, looking at flowers soothes me to the bone. Now that I think about it, I'm glad I didn't just chop your bonds off in the end. I blame the stupid sword for my bad attitude back then. Holding a weapon in your hand all the time just makes you want to swing it at someone, you know? You're kidding. Another monster like me nearly chopped your noggin off when you were a prisoner on a ship. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? It's in our nature to chop first, ask questions later. On behalf of animated skeletons everywhere, I apologize. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. I wanted to thank you. Without your help, I'd never have gotten to see Aerosplottle, Remville, or Noah again. So thanks, dude. I'll do everything in my power to bring you and your mate, the Master of Destruction, together again. I owe you that much. Hey! 
I can sense something and it's coming closer. Bleep, bleep, warning, warning, threat detected, monster attack imminent. Dude, I have detected the presence of shadow fiends in close proximity. We must not allow them to damage the Ark. Are you ready to engage the enemy? Yes, no. Bleep, my nuts may be rusty, but I will fight nonetheless. Dude, I can hear the scrap heap calling my serial number. I cannot predict if I will remain in operational capacity after this battle, but I will not power down quietly. You could just, like, sit here and wait. I, like, straight up. You could, we're fine without you, man. Look at this mess. I can't even get out of my pit. In retrospect, neither can all my allies. Okay. Well, hey, thank you, Owie the Owen, for the 24 month resub. Robot guys, my favorite. My favorites reminds me of Old Golem, the Nymo Monster. Wow. Wow. I, I I should probably put some more intermediary uh, fun icons for you guys. I'm just busy. That's a big tree. Well, I guess I might as well just use iron blocks. I, I feel kind of bad that I had... Well, I sort of feel kind of bad that I had originally just... Uh, set that as a, as a like, well, I don't have a two month thing, so wah. And then it turns out people really liked it, so I guess it worked out for me. Oh, interesting, you can't slip sand. Or maybe you can. You can. Okay. I mean, yeah, I could help, but, like, they don't need it. Hey, monsters are defeated. Whoops, that's the wrong... Eh, whatever. He, not a single. Not only did we give those hideous shadows a good splatting, but we protected the Ark. Indeed, until recently, destruction was all I knew, all I cared for. But now that I know the value in protecting that which one holds dear, creating things and defending one's creations is certainly more taxing, a uh, more taxing undertaking than crushing one's enemies. And yet, I find it oddly satisfying. I always considered myself a devoted acolyte of the children of Hargon, yet recent revelations have tested my convictions. But now that test is over, I wash my hands of destruction. What tears the path to salvation from be What tears the path to salvation from beneath our very feet? The way forward can only be built. I have reached the same conclusion. From this moment on, we build, build, build. Long live the builder. No, oh, dude, why do you look so glum? Everyone's saying how great it is to be a builder. I thought you'd be a squidgen happier. Disengage gloominess, inquiry protocol, Eris bottle. Engage productivity vector, the threat from the shadow fiends has passed. Let us return to the work on the Ark. Greetings, dude. As you know, us monsters are perfectly capable of building the Ark. So, so long as we have all the items that we need, but therein lies the problem. Bleep, I calculate that we do not have the correct materials to complete the arc or upgrade the buggy buggy. Ah, you need more materials. Oh right, this goes deeper. It's a bit beyond a bird brain like me, but don't you turn the masses molten body parts into materials. Perhaps there's one out there you haven't found yet. In fact, I think I spotted something when I was out in the wing earlier. 
It was a great big thing, an enormous eyeball. Bleep, bleep, extrapolating from existing data sets. I estimate that one of these eyes will possess tremendous energy. There's only one thing for it, dude. Take Aerith Bottle with you and bring home the, the enormous eyeball back. Buy the supply. The device. Gross. Where the heck is it, too? Oh, it's over here. But it was... I was over there. Ugh, I must have missed it entirely. Dude is absolutely star starving. Well, dude can suck on a lemon, because we got places to go, things to see, trees to run into. I guess we do actually have lemons in this game. Whee. Uh, it's... I'm on the wrong side. We want to go over here. Bossy little guy. He did nominate himself as as the uh, the overseer, so it's not outrageous necessarily. Was oh, it up there? No, it's not. It's. Oh no, this is just the cave cave to go through. I guess this is fair. Oh, this is the uh, area for. That I sequence broke to, or or not? Yes, it is. Also, I apparently got armor from that last fight. You get really punchy. Who's that, dude? And what's he doing here? Hope he's not dangerous. What are the point that gargoyles said he saw an enormous eyeball around somewhere around here? Could it be that gigantic clop of glowing red goo? Looks a bit creepy, but at the same slime, it's quite pretty. Anyway, maybe that big pink chap knows something. Let's go and ask. Let's put on the. Uh, let's put on the fancy armor. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is what I really look like. So how good is that? Nullifies damage from terrain, reduces fire and ice damage. Heck yeah. We should probably also eat food. Boop. Oh. Doomsday. Kaboomsday soon. Monstrous eyeball lander. Big back. <laughs> huh? What? I have a mind to blow up any fool who dares disturb my dreams of destruction. Do you not know you not the name of Adam, the abominable? No. <laughs> Well, you know it now, for I am he, a damn Grand Inquisitor of the Children of Hargon. Let the name ring long and loud in your ears, like a mighty explosion! You two are clearly an unlikely pairing. What is a human boy doing all the way out here in the company of a metal slime? What? You came to collect the Master of Destruction's enormous eyeballs? I see. Then cast your gaze to that great red orb. What you seek is inside. I just hope you are a competent swimmer and not too squeamish. By the way, when you say collect, do you mean to handle the master's relics with the utmost respect, don't you? Sweets. Well, he, he kind of gave me permission. Anything cool down below? Probably not. Oh, gross. Hey, there's wings around here. Should probably switch to my hammer. Mm -hmm. 
And I switched my hammer, please. Thank you. Why are we incapable of getting air when we leap up? Why do we suck at this whole swimming thing? I guess we are wearing, like, a big old suit of armor. So I guess it shouldn't surprise surprise me too much. Eh. Back up the sludgy gross business. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we also have the freakish fins. The thing is, they, they really do make Malroth out to be this, like, crazy big and, like, insane monster thing. But, like, he's not... Eh. Maybe, I guess, in a more realistic or, like, dr dramatized sense, he's that much bigger. But, like, in the games, I don't think he was actually that, like, tremendously large. Oh whatever, let's get let's get another eyeball. I get the feeling that Arc Demon is not going to be happy about this. But I don't really make a habit of caring about what Arc Demons think about things. I mean for starters, they're not real. Probably gonna get a little bit more than this. I'm not sure how many eyeballs I need, but like, if we're gonna make Melroth's bedroom out of his bits, we might as well have a supply. Also, we apparently need five of these things. So, I guess I gotta keep going. Now, shedding skin and, like, claws and teeth and stuff. Yeah, I can kind of understand that. Shedding eyeballs, on the other hand. Man! That's horrifying. Like, I don't... I get gro grossed out by things, but it's kind of like the light... light like, ugh, As opposed to, like, oh, 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 god. No, why? Ugh. If that makes any sense, it probably does. Uh, but let's see. But eyeballs and eyeball related damage have always freaked me out. I think more so than any other like damage deformity or so on and so forth. I think part of it is I've got an uncle who's missing an eye and he Honestly, he lives fine regardless, but it's always just been one of those where it's just like, yeah, I just, uh. Let's see. Kind of like Grandia, where you go inside a giant evil god at the end and you fight the eyeballs specifically as a boss. That's kind of cool. I'm to go back and play some of the, like, some of those old, like, really top-tier JRPGs. Because I've definitely been, like, wanting that more recently. Because I think I've been playing a lot of, like, I'm not going to say atypical JRPGs, but a lot of, like, really anime ones lately. And I think that's actually been a little bit of a... A uh, source of disappointment for me. That said, there are some pretty damn good JRPGs uh, coming out in the next couple months. Like, obviously, Fire Emblem just started. And that's that's a little on the anime side, but it's not, like, too bad. Uh, but, like, we've got Oninaki and Astral Chain fairly soon, both of which I'm pretty jazzed about. Okay, so that's 16 wings, 8 eyes, or sorry, fins. I could get more, but I don't care. Oh, Grandy is getting a re-release. Re on PC and Switch at some point soon. 
I'm hoping uh, PC. Because one of the one of my favorite things about JRPGs, well, favorite things, one of the reasons why I like to play on, on PC very specifically is, oh, hey, grind happens. Turn up that EXP multiplier. No grind. Problem solved. Oh, how dare you! You swore you would treat the master's eyes with respect. I did not expect you to take a hammer to them. By his own hand, the Lord of Destruction will rain, rain punishment upon you for this infraction, for this, this, this heresy. Oh, do be quiet and listen for a change. You're one of the big sluts of the children of Hargoon, aren't you? Well, it just so happens that we're goo uh, operating with your friends Helen and Zabadi. You should join us. You know Helen and Zabadi? Why did you not tell me this earlier? Very well. I will return with you. As we travel, you will confess to me all that you have done, or I will blow you up myself. Is that your vehicle over there? I'm not sure if you're going to fit in this, but, uh, well, correction. What's up, Melroth? How's it going? Been lifting weights. I never liked the stupid boots on the Arc Demons. Like, I like the idea of Arc Demons as like a thing in Dragon Quest, but good lord, like, honestly, half of the demons in general just look real stupid. I think I was always a bigger fan of the material in the Dragon Family. You know what Arc Demon Taint smells like. I mean, I think I'm more getting the uh, the full tea bag experience more than anything else. Like if if this guy had balls, they would be nestling on my neck, and possibly bigger than my head. I don't know. It's like, I like it, Kira Toriyama's artwork, and his monster designs, some of them are amazing. Some of them are downright stupid. Arc Demons definitely go on the stupid side of things. Like, look at that. Nothing about that spells cool or even that spooky. This must be the Ark you told me so much about. I was expecting a wooden ship, not this man mechanical monstrosity. And he's just going to join the town. Oh, come back here. He's stuck on the wall. Oh, boy. Well, he'll figure it out at some point. I think he figured it. I think he found his way in. Yep, there he is. Good lord, he is big. So this is the Ark that you say will guide us all to salvation. And these are the monsters that you claim aided you in your building effort. Well met, Adam. I see the Builder's Silver Tongue has won even you over. Grrr, long time no see you two. Indeed, the Builder told me all about what is happening here. I still have many unanswered questions. However, I have decided to join you in the hope that those answers may explode into view. Say, you wouldn't have to have juicy inside information about Hargoon's castle, would you? You seem pretty glued up on what's going on around here. Ah, yes, the castle. Dude did say he would need to go there to meet the Master of Destruction. I will tell you what I know. Hargon's castle is protected by a magical barrier. This barrier is generated by three dark beings who float high in the skies above. Oh, a lot more shadow fiends. In this slime, they can fly? I think it's slime. We upgraded the buggy buggy. I will tell you everything I know about these monsters in due course. But for now, I'd quite like to try my hand at some explosions. I, uh, wait, I mean building. 
Adam the Abominable, Adam the Abominable, joins the crew of the Ark. I might want to get rid of the wall at this point, but I'm not sure if he'll ever be particularly useful at fighting monsters. Oh god, yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to fit outside of this arc once we're done with it. Oh well, so be it. He gave me a candle. Sweet biscuits. Wonder has all the pet monster. Oh no, he is actually helping through the wall, but that's fine. I will take it. I stand by my desire to actually have one of these Dragon Quest games just be a um, Dragon Quest Monsters Builders. Oh, dude, that actually could straight up be it. It just follows the plot of either Dragon Quest Monsters 1, 2, or one of the Joker games. Or the new one. I don't know. <laughs> you found the normal eyeballs then. Bleep, bleep, ultra high energy density objects detected. Okay. God. okay. Those spheres contain tremendous levels of power. I calculate that they can be used to upgrade the buggy and fuel the arc's propulsion drives. I calculate that we will have to use them very soon. Dude, you must store them safely until the time comes. Hey, that's a mighty fine weapon you've got there, Noah. I could do with something like that. This old thing, this the model has ceased production, but it was top of the range in its day. It still packs quite a punch. Just ask the Shadow Fiends. Unsettled rough bucket start talking. He never stops. Come on, dude. Let's get back to work. His batteries might run out before his tall tales do. Commencing, commencing interminable ramble mode. I remember when. I like it how the robot is just an old man. Bleep bleep. Program interrupted. Arc progress report compiled. The arc has exceeded a completion ratio of 90%. We are currently well on schedule. Extrapolating from current data points, the projected completion rate is. Bzzz. Noah, Noah, are you all right? Snap out of it, will you? Warning, violent tremors detected. It would appear the Master of Destruction has grown even stronger still. If he wakes up and goes berserk, we'll be done for. We have to get the Ark ready as soon as possible. There's no, no slime to lose. Hey, that sounds like a job for the supervisor. A good kick in the uh, yakthi to get the monster working faster. Dude, I must ask, have you built all the items we require for the Ark and placed them in the storage base? If you need any more materials, place our master's demonic detritus in a forbidden altar. Transform them into something more useful. I must say, after I've lifted the first few blocks, I felt rather nauseous and my head started spinning. But now that I'm used to building, I realize that it's actually super fun. I really want to see this thing finished. Me too. I used to romp about smashing things all, de all day and night. But... These days, I'm ashamed to admit, I ever supported the children of the Hargon. Just look at the nasty emblem, it's enough to make me spew. I get furious every time I lay eyes on Draxon. That symbol isn't a Draki, you know. Why does everyone make the same mistake? That ma makes them. Uh, why does everyone make that mistake? It's so unfair. What's up, dude? You look like you've got the blues. You worried about Melroth? Leap, something very important has just occurred to me. When the Ark is finished, who will operate it? I am not pre-programmed with piloting protocols. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. If Noah can't do it, who's going to steer? Well, we should probably drop off the remaining handful of things. Because I think it's straight up the steering wheel. Nope. Is there anything else, actually? Nope, doesn't look like I need it anymore. All right, back to cooking.
That that food really does not belong there. Oh no no no. Here we go. Okay. Oh, somebody has a quest for me. Uh sup? We've got a problem, and it could go blow our plans out of the water. Mm. Without a capable captain, this ark is nothing more than a fancy coffin. But it's not all kabo kaboom and gloom. I just happen to know someone who might be able to steer this vessel to safety. He captains a strange ship that has run aground in a world between worlds. Monsters who met him say he's in inexplicably weird. Well, beggars can't be choosers. We'll have to do. There is, however, one problem in the world between worlds is cut off from Valhalla by a lightless void. Where wayward souls lose their way and stumble to their doom. That shouldn't pose a problem. The finest monster mines in Valhalla are here on the Ark. I'm sure we'll find a way to reach his, this curious captain. Ah, that's where we get the sword. We're going to find the uh, Skelebro from the very beginning of the game. Come on, dude. Let's go and shoot the splat with the others. Someone will know what to do. I heard about your little conundrum. You need to find a way to reach this mysterious world between worlds, don't you? We must all search our data banks for possible clues. Huh. We'd have, we'll have to travel through a pitch black void to get there, right? Well, we won't get jelly far without a light. You might have a point. If the buggy buggy had some lights on the front, you'd be able to see where you're driving. Why did I not think of that? If we installed headlights on the buggy, we could see even in the darkest regions of the void. If I had to guess, I'd say the immense energy of the enormous eyeballs would be enough to power the lights. If I I knew I was right to suggest you store them safely for future usage, well, dude, do you think you can do it? Perhaps an improved garage would enable you to carry out the necessary upgrades. Mushroom beer. <laughs> oh, it really does just taste like mushrooms. What's this all about, eh? Oh, oh God. Wait, can't we use one of these to power up, like, uh, Noah a little bit better? Uh, I'm assuming I have to do this all on my own. Did you just flesh out a blueprint for an improved garage? The enormous eyeballs should easily meet the energy requirements for the headlights. Yeah, that's a bad batch of mead. It's supposed to taste like honey. Yeah. We'll try the other bottle. Because this is, this most definitely does not taste like mead. I mean, it doesn't, the more I drink it, the more I get used to it. But the more I am disappointed because it is not the mead I'm looking for. Alright then, dude. Once you've completed the blueprint, park the buddy in the garage and get to work. And while you're busy with that, we'll crack on with the arc. So this is actually already like halfway done for me. I just need eight light blocks, bunch of pipes. Some other things. I guess I'm just gonna snag all these and move them, move them into the proper containers, because they're just doing dumb things at this point. But over here, what do we got? That's. And has anybody, anybody been storing stupid things in here? They have been. Okay. Definitely gonna have to store more in there, but that that's fine. They're just gonna stand around being like, why? Where is this supposed to be? Where did it go? Cotton I Joe help. Okay, so what do I need? Oh, I need more gold. Let's see. Well, we got plenty of teeth. 
We might as well just bung out a couple. Let's see. And while we're here, let's go back to producing an insane amount of iron. Because there's nothing else that I'm actually going to be working with. The teeth in the summoning chamber. I don't actually want to, um... I don't want to use it all up. Because, uh... Ultimately, I want to save a lot of these very specifically for, uh... Uh, like, I'm going to want to use a number of these things for Melroth's bedroom, so if I waste them all, sadness. And why would you drink something to get used to it? Uh, I wouldn't. I have one can of this stuff, and then I'm going to be like, well, that's it. Because, like, I, I have next to no interest in, in going out of my way for, um, like, to get used to drinking beer, for example. And so, I would much rather... I, I would much rather just, uh, keep searching for good stuff instead of trying to get used to bad stuff, or at least bad by my, my estimations. I don't know. Go. Oh, I charged this before the stream, what? prefer cider so tasty well meat is pretty dang tasty when you find the good stuff it's just you don't find a whole lot of the good stuff in the u.s for whatever reason because i've had absolutely amazing meat before i just haven't found it here yet but i did find some really good cider earlier today so like not all is lost Okay, so those pipes are done. We just need the the vents. Oh. Might as well get those on first. There we go. Let's see. And then we want... Oh, uh, am I looking at this backwards? No, I'm not. I'm not looking at this backwards. I'm just confused. Okay. Uh, let's see. We want a T bracket. I think I'm I'm just gonna go produce more. Or do I just grab him? I'll just grab him. Let's see. And then I'll probably just chuck everything in my in my inventory in a chest and then pull it back out again to sort it, maybe? I don't know. Okay, there we go. What am I missing? Something on the front? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I know what I'm missing. And that should be the end of it. Yeah, this would have been rough to try and finish yesterday. I'm glad I didn't. Also, thank you, Verisoc, for the 500 bits. I'm so sorry I missed that earlier. Have you finished work on the garage? What's going to happen now?
It really does look like a bug now. It's golden. The buggy buggy gets some headlights. Hey, That's amazing, dude. The buggy... Buggy... Lights look just like eyes. Scans detect a photonic sensor. The light should switch on automatically when the buggy enter enters a region of low photon activity. Dude, are you an extraordinary? You are an extraordinary inventor. With these lights, you will be able to find your way through the void. 